Greetings of the day. This is Dr. Khaled. Breast cancer is a condition in which breast cells grow abnormally and uncontrollably. These cells can form a lump which may be benign or malignant. Benign tumors are not cancerous. They do not spread, while malignant tumors are cancerous and can spread to other parts of the body. This process is known as metastasis. Research says that the risk of developing breast cancer increases with age, with about 80% of breast cancer patients being older than 50 years. For women aged 20 to 24 years, the incidence rate is 1.5 case per 100,000 individuals. However, for women aged 75 to 79 years, the incident rate is 421.3 cases per 100,000 individuals. In fact, 95% of the new cases of breast cancer occur in women of age 40 years or more, and the median age for breast cancer diagnosis is found to be 61 years. The 21 most common, or you can say alarming symptoms of breast cancer are breast lump, abnormalities in nipple, breast pain, abnormalities in the breast skin, lump in the axilla, ulcers on the breast, back pain, change in the shape of the breast, breast inflammation, swelling or infection, musculoskeletal pain, breast rash, neck lump or lymph node abnormalities, breathlessness, abdominal pain, chest pain, weakness or fatigue, weight loss, cough, pain in the axilla, bruising on the breast, edema of the upper limb. Breast cancer is a disease that can cause a variety of symptoms, including a lump in the breast, nipple abnormalities, skin changes, or regional or distant disease. Lump in the breast is the most common symptom of breast cancer, affecting 76% of patients. The lump may be hard, painless, or irregular in shape. Nipple abnormalities can include nipple retraction, change in nipple appearance, nipple discharge, and other structural changes of the nipple. They affect 11% of women with breast cancer. Skin changes can include dimpling, wrinkling, brightness, or scaling. They affect around 5% of women with breast cancer. Regional or distant disease can cause symptoms in the armpit, such as lump, pain, or swelling. It can also cause symptoms in the neck, including the lump and pain as well. General or non-specific symptoms of breast cancer include fatigue, weight loss, and musculoskeletal pain, and they affect around 5% of women with breast cancer. It is important to see a doctor if you experience any of these symptoms. Early detection and treatment are essential for the best possible outcome. Here are some additional things to keep in mind. Not everyone with breast cancer will experience symptoms. Some people may be diagnosed with breast cancer after a routine mammogram. The symptoms of breast cancer can vary from person to person. Some people may experience only one symptom, while others may have several. The symptoms of breast cancer can be caused by other unknown conditions as well. It is important to see a doctor to rule out those possible causes. If you are concerned about the risk of cancer or breast cancer, talk to your doctor. They can certainly investigate your risk factors and recommend ways to minimize them to the possible extent. Breast cancer is a complex disease that can be caused by both genetic and environmental factors. Some of these factors include family history, obesity, tall stature, smoking, alcohol consumption, early menarche, late menopause, sedentary lifestyle, nulliparity, and hormone replacement therapy. Some of these factors are known to increase the estrogen level in the human body. It is important to note that not everyone with these factors will be diagnosed with breast cancer, and some people who do not have any risk factors will still develop the disease. However, knowing your risk factors can help you make informed decisions about your health and minimize your risk of breast cancer. If you're concerned about your risk of breast cancer, do not hesitate to get your factors investigated and look for the best available prevention approaches. A recent study found that about one in six women with breast cancer presented without a breast lung. This means that before seeking medical attention, they might have experienced other symptoms such as nipple discharge, breast pain, or skin changes. 
The study also found that the length of treatment delays varied by the symptom growth. For example, women who presented with a breast lump had shorter delays than women who presented with non-breast lump complications or non-breast symptoms. The findings of this study suggest that there are a variety of symptoms that can be associated with breast cancer. So it is important for women to be aware of these symptoms and to seek help if they experience any of them. If you notice any of the symptoms of breast cancer, it is important to seek your doctor right away. Your doctor will perform a physical examination and may ask you to undergo a mammogram, an ultrasound, a chest x-ray, a pad scan, a bone scan, or even a sentinel lymph node biopsy, depending on the symptoms and medical history. The earlier breast cancer is diagnosed, the more likely it is to be successfully treated. That is why it is important to be aware of the symptoms of breast cancer and to seek healthcare support. The treatment for breast cancer depends on the stage of the cancer, your overall health, and your personal preferences. Treatment options may include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and hormone therapy. Being diagnosed with breast cancer can be a very difficult time, but there are many resources available to help you cope. There are support groups for women with breast cancer as well as online forums and websites. You can also discuss your emotional requirements with your doctor. There is no sure way to prevent breast cancer, but there are some things you can surely do to reduce your risk. Dietary modification includes a consumption of soy products, fruits, vegetables, especially cruciferous vegetables to reduce your risk of breast cancer. Increase in physical activity, which can be achieved by a variety of approaches, including the strength training exercises two times per week, 150 minutes of moderate or 75 minutes of vigorous physical activity each week and prevention of inactive lifestyle by increasing the normal daily activities. Next comes the weight management. Nutritional counseling is the best approach to maintain a healthy weight. The other important aspect is the reduction in tobacco and alcohol con consumption. Research says that alcohol and tobacco have been associated with a high risk of breast cancer. Breast cancer is undoubtedly a serious health condition but there are many treatment options available and most women go on to live long and healthy after being diagnosed. So if you notice any one of these symptoms of breast cancer, you must immediately seek medical attention. Thanks for watching.